On the previous series of videos that were produced for Sustainability Victoria's Seven Star Homes program, we produced three videos, one video covering air tightness, another video covering thermal insulation consistency. And we covered another video on effective ventilation strategies for these homes. In this video, we're gonna cover double story homes and the issues of interconnectivity of air leakage in between subfloors of these homes. So we're here with Kyle, who's the homeowner of both these homes. One of the things that I'm looking at here is you've got a garage with a roof that is gonna get really hot in summer and potentially really cold in winter. And if you didn't have that separation and break of your subfloor from this area, it's just, air is just moving to and from this space which are all uninsulated surfaces inside your home. Yeah, that's right. In addition to that, it's not insulated. So the garage roof isn't required to be insulated. If it wasn't the case, if we hadn't have created that break, yep. um, it could yeah, very easily be pulling hot or cold air through that subfloor and then subsequently into your home. So there's a couple of options that you could have used to sort of try and and seal off this, this gap in between the, the subfloor, the first floor and the ground floor. To the garage, you've used the XPS board. You could have also used like a, a vapor permeable wrap as well. Couldn't yeah, you? probably the easier way would have been just with a wrap. Yep. Um, but we also wanted that insulation barrier, that energy barrier as well. Well, with the wrap, you could also like supplement it with a bat potentially, but you actually taped it to the bottom plate of the first floor, and then you can tape it to the top plate of the ground floor, right? That's right. And then just do that all the way around. The other issue, obviously, as well, is that if you've got any risers, which you do in this house, for the subfloor, then that subfloor is gonna be also connected to any ductless risers that bring your return from ground floor up into your that, roof. That's right, yeah. yeah. And typically in builds like this, it's really they're just throwing up some boards and yeah. how consistent they are with the barrier yeah. in that subfloor is pretty inconsistent yeah. between the two homes, which yeah. are identical, identical layout. The home that I have was a little bit more gappy. So I guess the other thing that blows me away and some of the older houses may have this, if there wasn't a ceiling, a plaster ceiling in your garage, and you're warming up your car and you're running a ducted heating system in your house where it's connected to the subfloor, then your ducted heating system is potentially just sucking in carbon monoxide from your garage. That's right, yeah. It's just insane, isn't it? So we, we need to think about and, and talk about more often how airtight your subfloor is in between your first and, and ground floors. It's just not really looked at in Australian construction. So Kyle, this is another home that was built at the same time or roughly around the same time. Now, nothing was sealed off around the perimeter of this one, right? That's right. So the additional works that I had made on this home versus this was, yep. was quite different. So this is just straight what the builder has produced. Yes. Versus my interventions with the subfloor. And now we've pressure tested this home and the leakage rate that this got over this got was 8.5 roughly 8.5 air changes an hour at 50 pascals compared to 4.6 air changes at 50 pascals. So it's, it's a huge difference. It's still within the 10 meter cubed or the 10 air changes an hour at 50 pascals that this seven star program is within, but uh, there's also significant air leakage occurring inside the ducted heating return on this home too. That's right. Yeah. Um, the builder's done a great job with the build itself, but again, it's one of those areas that's just not, not thought about, not looked at. And if you want to make that, as you can see, half a difference, yeah, then, then it's part of the area that you need to tackle. Yeah. 